Okay, today we are going to talk about the difference between infinitives and gerunds. Infinitives and gerunds are very similar and they both belong to a part of speech known as verbals. Verbals are made from verbs, however, they act like different parts of speech. For example, gerunds act like nouns and infinitives act like nouns, but sometimes they act like adjectives or adverbs. So gerunds and infinitives can be confusing. Sometimes you don't know which one to use. For example, if I say I like playing basketball and I like to play basketball, they have the same meaning. They both mean that someone enjoys basketball. But sometimes infinitives and gerunds can have completely different meanings. For example, if I say she stopped to smoke and she stopped smoking, if she stopped to smoke, that means maybe she was walking and then she took a break to smoke a cigarette. But if I say she stopped smoking, it means she quit smoking. So it's important to know how gerunds and infinitives can be used and when they're used. So gerunds and infinitives can both be used as the subject of a sentence, the object of a verb or preposition, and as subject complements. So if an infinitive is used as an adjective, um, it must come after a noun. So for example, I can say a sandwich to eat, a rule to remember. These are infinitives being used as adjectives. So I hope you've learned something new. I'll see you next time.